Welcome to Jobs in Pods, the only podcast where you can hear real employers talk about their jobs and learn what it's like to work there. I'm your host, Krishna Day, and this Jobcast features the personal experiences of an engineering intern at Intel Corporation. Intel is the world's largest semiconductor company and has its headquarters based in Santa Clara, California, with offices located worldwide. Joining us now is Dipashri, a graphics intern with Intel India's Platform Applications Engineering Group. Dipashri, welcome to Jobs and Pods, and I'd love for you to tell us a little bit about your background and how long you've been interning at Intel India. Hello, everybody. This is Dipashri speaking. Been interning with Intel since 10 months. I'm currently interning in the graphics platform application engineering team. As a part of a hardware debugging come tech marketing team, I get a flavor of two different areas. That is the tech marketing and the graphics field, which is a huge advantage for me as an intern to decide a suitable career. So tell us a little bit more about what some of the things are that you might be doing as an intern. Well, being a part of the BAE team, I got an opportunity to do my project under the Intel Graphics CUI development team. What makes this opportunity really cool is that I'm given a unique opportunity to work under two teams during my internship. I feel excited about this diverse opportunity that was offered to me. Intel is surely a great place to work. The benefits are great, employees are friendly, and you're encouraged to take advantage of professionally developing yourself by rotating into different groups. Our employee care program offers a very wide range of offerings to employees to cater to the divergent needs. It includes some creative interest and fun offerings like photography workshop, music and dance workshops, quizzing, cooking classes, summer and winter Olympics, etc. Personally, I participated in the Intel Sports event, the Coco event and the cricket match. That, that's very, very diverse, isn't it? Sounds terrific. Before we go on any further about talking about the role there, let's talk about what it was like to make that adjustment from school. You know, what happened when you were joining Intel? Were there any support mechanisms or programs to help interns settle in and make that transition from being in school into the work environment? Well, um, yeah, there are a lot of uh, changes which I faced from school to the corporate world. Intel India provided customized integration programs on day one of my joining, like the new employee orientation program, senior manager-led frustrations, shift from academics to corporate, and some cool team building activities. Then we moved on to get team-related technical trainings. All in all, our integration was smooth sailing, and I was confident to hit the road. As I was new to the corporate world, I was advised on soft trainings also, with such diverse levels of training, I felt the scope of an overall growth. So that sounds like it was a great transition, a lot of support to make that change into the workplace. But what is it really like to be an intern at Intel than Dipashri? Life at Intel as an intern is a lot of learning and fun. With flexible timings and comfortable working environment, hectic life is put to ease with lots of freedom to work. An intern is considered like any other full-time employee. An intern who walks into this organization is given a laptop, cubicle, and numerous trainings. You can approach any senior manager at Intel, and they'll be ready to talk to you without any hesitation. I love this aspect the most. So tell me, Tapashri, what are some of the challenges that you faced during your internship and how you managed to overcome them? Well, there were challenges which I had to face. As I was new to the field of device drivers, bios, and computer architecture, as I don't come from a computer science background, I overcome them by several ways. Buddy program helped me in a big way to remove barriers and integrate into the system better. Our intranet site has ocean of information regarding all our queries. My teammates provided me a lot of materials which helped me since. Intel, being a product-based company, the details regarding a specific product was essential. Now, if there's somebody listening to us today who's a student, perhaps where you were some months ago, would you recommend Intel 
as an internship to them. And why would you do that? Oh, yes. Intel provides a great scope of development from technical skills to the soft skills. I think it's a great platform for students to start their career and, if possible, pursue it. You can look forward working on the latest technologies at Intel and keeping on par with the competition. Now, any tips for future interns in terms of making their internship a real success when they're at Intel? To be a successful intern, one should be dedicated, persuasive, hardworking, patient, and clever. The intern should be attentive enough to grab the right opportunities at the right time. An intern should have very good networking skills to interact across teams. This will be an added advantage. Oh, that's great. Thank you for sharing those tips. And overall, why do you think Intel is such a great place to work? You mentioned that at the beginning, that you thought it was such a great place to work. Right. Tell, us, tell us more about that. Well, uh, Intel is surely a great place to work. The benefits are great. Our employee care program offers a wide range of offerings to employees. It includes some creative interest and fun offerings. Let me summarize it in three phrases. Great company, great people, great technology. That's terrific. Thank you for sharing with us your ideas in terms of why you think it's a great place to work. Thank you so much. And if somebody were listening to us today and they were thinking, this sounds fantastic, it's exactly what I'm looking for as an intern, how would they go about applying? They can visit our jobs at Intel homepage at intel.com slash jobs and check out our intern or graduate opportunities. If you don't find any opportunity that interests you, you should consider creating a candidate profile in our database so you can be considered for the future positions. So that will do it for this edition of Jobs and Pods. I'd like to thank Tapashri for joining us today. For more job casts like this, visit jobsinpods.com. And don't forget, you can also subscribe to our job casts on iTunes. Thanks for listening to Jobs in Pods. <laughs>